Okay, on this video, we're gonna go through how to set the weather compensation on the CAHV units. Um, we feel it's important to use the weather compensation so the system isn't always targeting a high flow temperature regardless of the outdoor conditions. If you vary the flow temperature to suit the outdoor conditions, your system's gonna run more efficiently. This may become a little bit clearer as we go along. So first things first, we need to make sure that the SWS1 switch is in the off position. And then SW2 number 10 needs to be moved to the off position also. And then to enter into the setting, we need to do SW3 dip switch number nine to the on position. You'll notice now that the LCD display has changed and we've got a number one there now. We're now going to use a select switch here, this one, and each time you press it, it moves through the operation numbers. Now, the first one we want is item 22. So 22 is going to be our high end of the scale, the highest flow temperature the system will aim for. So 22, let's press the up button, and it's currently set to 60 degrees. So let's increase that up. Let's bump that up to say 65. Obviously these target temperatures will be in line with your design or you can sort the specification, whatever you're use, working to. Uh, it could well be to do your heat emitters, what, what temperature your heat emitters have been sized to. So we're gonna say 65 degrees is a high flow temperature. Now we need to tell the system at what ambient temperature we want it to achieve 65 degrees flow. So that's the next parameter. So it's item 23. So we're saying here zero degrees. So at zero degrees, it's gonna target 65 degree flow. I'd say that was a good setting. So let's leave that at zero. So the next one, we need to set the other end of the scale. So it's item 24. We now need to set the lower water temperature. So the minimum water temperature the system's gonna operate when it's quite a mild or warm day outside. So it's currently set to 40. Uh, let's increase that up, let's say 45, so we're going to have a minimum of a 45 degree flow, but a maximum of 65. So there you are, 45 degrees, okay? We now need to tell the system at which ambient temperature we want it to operate at 45. So that's the next item, by pressing the select button, up to 25, and it's currently set to 20 degrees, okay? Let's bring that down a bit. Let's say that's maybe 15. Okay, so we say 15 degrees, it's gonna operate, so 15 degrees or higher, it's gonna operate at 45 degree flow, or zero degree or below, it's gonna operate at 65 degree flow. So that's the linear scale we've set for the target temperature of that water in the system. So once you're happy with your settings, quite simply all we're gonna to need to do is SW3, Number nine, back to the off position. And then you can set the SWS1 switch back to local. Okay, that's when you're operating off the local controller. And that's all set for you.